Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to determine the volumes of gases consumed or produced in a reaction using gas stoichiometry. Let us say we have a balanced chemical equation. A reacts to form 2B. We learned earlier in the course on how to interconvert between the number of moles of reactants and products given the value of the other one using stoichiometry coefficients as the conversion factors. For example, if 2.6 moles of A completely reacts, how many moles of B is formed? We start with number of moles of A and we want the number of moles of B produced in the reaction. So we multiply this with a conversion factor that has moles of A in the denominator and moles of B in the numerator. From the stoichiometric equation, we know that for every mole of A consumed in the reaction, we get two moles of B produced in the reaction. Therefore, the conversion factor is two moles of B per one mole of A. Moles of A, moles of A gets cancelled and if we do the math, we get 5.2 moles of B. Now let's say the reactant A in this reaction is a gas and instead of number of moles of A, we are given with the pressure, volume and temperature of A and we are asked to find out the number of moles of B formed. What we can do is use the ideal gas equation to convert the pressure, volume and temperature of the gas A into the number of moles of gas A and then convert that into the number of moles of B. This is how we do gas stoichiometry problems. Let us do a couple of example problems. Example 1. Solid carbon reacts with oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide gas. Calculate the mass of oxygen in grams required to react with solid carbon and form 10.5 liters of carbon dioxide at STP. First, let us write down the balanced chemical equation for the reaction shown above. Carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. We have one carbon on the reactant side and one carbon on the product side, two oxygens on the reactant side and two oxygens on the product side. So the balanced chemical equation is one carbon plus one oxygen gives one carbon dioxide. According to the equation, one mole of carbon reacts with one mole of oxygen to form one mole of carbon dioxide. Now let us write down what is given and what is being asked to calculate. The volume of carbon dioxide is given as 10.5 liters at STP. Now standard temperature is 0 degree Celsius and standard pressure is 1 atm. We need to calculate the mass of oxygen required. In the problem, some information on carbon dioxide is given and the information on oxygen is being asked. So we start with carbon dioxide and move towards oxygen. Using the stoichiometric coefficients in the equation, we can convert the number of moles of carbon dioxide into number of moles of oxygen. However, we do not have the moles of carbon dioxide given to us. Instead, we have volume, pressure and temperature of the carbon dioxide gas. Is there any equation that we discussed earlier which connects pressure, volume, temperature and number of moles of a gas? Yes, the ideal gas equation. We can use it to determine the number of moles of carbon dioxide formed which can then be converted into number of moles of oxygen. 
but the question is to determine the mass of oxygen not the number of moles of oxygen how can we convert the number of moles of oxygen into mass of oxygen we use the molar mass of oxygen as a conversion factor to convert from moles into mass let us do the calculation now in step 1 we use the ideal gas equation to get the number of moles of carbon dioxide let us rearrange the ideal gas equation in such a way that the variables that are given in the problem are on one side of the equation and the variable that is being asked for is on the other side of the equation that is we need to bring the number of moles to one side and the remaining variables to the other side n is equals to pv over rt let us plug in the values the pressure is given as one atmosphere volume is 10.5 liters the value of r is a constant and is usually given which is 0 0.0821 liters atmosphere per mole per kelvin and the temperature is given as 273 kelvin liters and liters get cancelled atmospheres and atmospheres get cancelled kelvin and kelvin gets cancelled if we do the math we get 0 0.468 moles of carbon dioxide alternatively we can use the standard molar volume to convert the volume of carbon dioxide into moles we can do this because the reaction conditions are at standard temperature and pressure we start with 10.5 liters and we need moles and we know that one mole of any ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure occupies 22.4 liters so we multiply this with a conversion factor that has liters of carbon dioxide in the denominator and moles of carbon dioxide in the numerator which is one mole per 22.4 liters 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 get cancelled and if we do the math we get 0 0.468 moles which is the same answer as the other method once we know the number of moles of carbon dioxide we can use the dimensional analysis to calculate the mass of oxygen required we start with 0.468 moles of carbon dioxide and we need grams of oxygen first we convert moles of carbon dioxide into moles of oxygen using stoichiometric coefficients of the equation so we need to multiply this with a conversion factor that has moles of carbon dioxide in the denominator and moles of oxygen in the numerator from the balanced equation we know that for each mole of oxygen consumed we get one mole of carbon dioxide produced so the conversion factor is one mole of oxygen per one mole of carbon dioxide moles of carbon dioxide gets cancelled now we have our answer in moles of oxygen next we need to convert moles of oxygen into grams of oxygen for that we need to multiply this with a conversion factor that has moles of oxygen in the denominator and grams of oxygen in the numerator the molar mass of oxygen is 32 grams per one mole I'm going to use that as the conversion factor moles of oxygen moles of oxygen gets cancelled and if we do the math we get 14.98 grams of oxygen let us do one more example in Haber's process ammonia is synthesized from nitrogen and hydrogen gases what volume of ammonia at 375 kilopascals 
and 100 degrees Celsius can be obtained when 10.5 kilograms of hydrogen is completely consumed in the reaction. First, we need a balanced chemical equation. Nitrogen N2 gas reacts with hydrogen H2 gas to form ammonia NH3. We have two nitrogens on the reactant side and only one nitrogen on the product side. So we multiply ammonia with two. We have two hydrogens on the reactant side and six hydrogens on the product side. So I multiply hydrogen with three. Now we have six hydrogens on the product side and six hydrogens on the reactant side. This is the balanced chemical equation. According to the equation, one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen to form two moles of ammonia. Now let us write down what is given and what is being asked to calculate. The mass of hydrogen that we start with is given as 10.5 kilograms. The pressure of ammonia formed is 375 kilopascal and the temperature of ammonia formed is 100 degrees Celsius. We need to calculate the volume of ammonia produced. In the problem, some information on hydrogen is given and the information on ammonia is being asked. So we start with hydrogen and move towards ammonia. Using the stoichiometric coefficients as a conversion factor, we can convert the number of moles of hydrogen into number of moles of ammonia. However, we do not have the moles of hydrogen given to us. Instead, we have mass of hydrogen. How can we convert mass of hydrogen into moles of hydrogen? We can use the molar mass as a conversion factor. Once we know the number of moles of hydrogen, we can then calculate the number of moles of ammonia using stoichiometric coefficients in the equation as a conversion factor. And once we know the number of moles of ammonia, the pressure of ammonia and the temperature of ammonia, we can calculate its volume. We have three out of four measurable properties of a gas and we are being asked to find out the fourth one. So we use the ideal gas equation to calculate it. In step one, we calculate the number of moles of ammonia using dimensional analysis. We start with 10.5 kilograms of hydrogen gas and we need moles of ammonia. First, we convert kilograms of hydrogen into grams of hydrogen. The conversion factor here is 1000 grams per 1 kilogram. Kilogram of hydrogen gets cancelled. Now we have grams of hydrogen. Next, we convert grams of hydrogen into moles of hydrogen. For that, we need to multiply it with a conversion factor that has grams of hydrogen in the denominator and moles of hydrogen in the numerator. From the molar mass of hydrogen gas, we know that one mole of hydrogen contains 2.016 grams of hydrogen. Grams of hydrogen and grams of hydrogen gets cancelled. Now we have the answer in moles of hydrogen. Next, we convert moles of hydrogen into moles of ammonia. So we need to multiply this with a conversion factor that has moles of hydrogen in the denominator and moles of ammonia in the numerator. And from the stoichiometric coefficients, for every two moles of ammonia produced, three moles of hydrogen is consumed. Moles of hydrogen and moles of hydrogen gets cancelled. If we do the math, we get 3472.2 moles of ammonia.
Next, we use the ideal gas equation to calculate the volume of ammonia. Let us rearrange the ideal gas law in such a way that the variables that are given in the problem are on one side of the equation and the variable that is being asked for is on the other side of the equation. That is, we need to isolate volume on one side. We get volume is equals to nRT over P. Let us plug in the values. The number of moles of ammonia we calculated as 3472.2 moles. The value of R is a constant which is 0 0.0821 liters, atmospheres, mole inverse and Kelvin inverse. The temperature is given as 373 Kelvin divided by pressure. The pressure is given as 375 kilopascals. We need to convert this into atmospheres so that we can cancel the units with the units of R. We learned earlier that one atmosphere is equal to 101.325 kilopascals. So we multiply this with a conversion factor that has kilopascals in the denominator and atmospheres in the numerator. Kilopascals, kilopascals get cancelled. Moles and mole inverse get cancelled. Kelvin and Kelvin gets cancelled. Atmosphere and atmosphere gets cancelled. And if we do the math, we get 28,730.6 liters of ammonia produced.